Oh, I'm not going to say CMB. <laughs> like that is. Uh, because I know it very well. Uh, the Deputy Minister of Justice, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs, Honorable Nobet Masungunye, uh, the Deputy Prosecutor General, Mr. Justin Oladi, the Secretary for the Minister of ICT Post and Courier Services, Dr. Biula Chirume, the Acting Secretary to the National Prosecuting Authority of Zimbabwe, Mr. Tafadzo Mpariwa, and the NPAZ Secretariat, which is here. The Chief Magistrate, uh, Mrs. Faith Mushure, uh, the Director General of Portraits, Dr. Gift Kalisto Machengete, represented here by Mr. T. Mujuru, the Deputy Director of the USF, senior government officials here present, invited guests, uh, members of the media, and for the state. Um, Honorable Minister, please allow me to acknowledge um, Mr. Lee Maiza, a seasoned uh, photographer for Herald. Mm. If he took my first photo, which came out in the paper when mm. I was doing Studio 263. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> the ladies and uh, gentlemen, we are gathered here to witness government's commitment to digitally equip all ministries, departments, and agencies. Our president has been very clear that we need to digitize Zimbabwe. We need to also move towards digitalizing Zimbabwe in 2030 and now accelerating it to 2028. We are very happy that there is an e-justice system which has been put in place. This then talks about the integrated case management system which is being implemented here. And indeed, let me thank you very much, the Minister of Justice, for also making sure that you're going digital. You are also realizing that this is where we're supposed to go. And this then enhances transparency and efficiency. This handover of laptops to the National Prosecuting Authority, NPA, of Zimbabwe, marks a significant milestone in the country's journey towards digital transformation and cybersecurity enhancement. This event takes place against the backdrop of our president, His Excellency Dr. Idim Nangagwa's launch of three national ICT policies in Somabula on 7 March 2024, emphasizing the government's commitment to advancing technological capabilities across various sectors. The provision of these laptops underscores the importance placed on equipping prosecutors with essential digital skills crucial for navigating Zimbabwe's transition into a full digital economy. Crucially, this handover is happening at the Rotten Row Criminal Courts, where the laptops will be used, emphasizing our commitment to directly deploy gadgets to the end user in our quest to leave no one and no place behind. In today's rapidly evolving digital landscape, it is imperative for prosecutors to acquire digital skills to effectively combat emerging cyber threats and crimes. As Zimbabwe moves towards becoming a fully digital economy, disruptive technologies are giving rise to new forms of criminal activities than traditional law enforcement approaches which we're having. These really need to be addressed and we need to move from the traditional ways and be able to also go digital. We are also in here empowering prosecutors with adequate digital competences and also making sure that it is also beneficial and also necessary for us to ensure effective prosecution in an increasingly digitalized world. Furthermore, understanding and applying laws such as the Cyber and Data Protection Act is paramount for prosecutors. And also we believe this is going to tackle cyber crimes. Yes, um, Honorable uh, Ziambi Ziambi being here, I think it's important for us to be able to unpack the Cyber and Data Protection Act. We have realized that we're having a lot of cases of cyber bullying, which we are realizing in our everyday world. And we're saying it's important that we really need to make sure that we unpack it. It's important for us to implement it, whereby we'll see a rest of any people that are involving themselves in cyber crimes and also even false information. This is very, very important for us to be able to transgress as we're going towards a digitalized Zimbabwe. We also believe that the National Prosecuting Authority of Zimbabwe bears a significant responsibility in safeguarding Zimbabwe's digital sovereignty by enforcing laws related to illegal telecommunications devices and cyber activities within the country. The effective implementation of regulations against unauthorized device usage is instrumental in maintaining cyber 
security standards and protecting national interest for external threats posed by malicious actors operating through illicit means. The Minister of ICT is, com is committed towards supporting all government entities in embracing the digital age, which we believe signifies, signifies uh, a wall of government approach aimed at enhancing technological capabilities nationwide. Indeed, we believe that these laptops are going to go a long way in also capacitating the NPA. And we believe that the Ministry of Justice is also going to be also uh, assisted in efficiency and effectiveness while fostering a culture of innovation within public service sectors. Yes, uh, we really want to say these devices will also enable prosecutors to leverage technology in case management, research, communication, and information sharing, thereby enhancing their overall productivity and response time regarding digital related crimes. Indeed, let me applaud you. Uh, the Honorable um, um, PG also said, she said that already you've already started the year. We are also starting one with the remands, which we believe that is the way to go. We really need to go digital and we need to also digitalize all our operations. We really want to thank you very much and we are saying we need to implement the integrated electronic case management system. We want to thank you for also walking the talk. Whatever pronouncements that have been made are being realized. And I think this is where we need to go. And we're saying any complications or challenges with the use of digital technologies in the courts uh, delays the delivery of justice. So it is important that we, the telecoms operators also work towards efficiency on connectivity. We need it to be affordable and also efficient. I want to also appeal to our prosecutors that our consumers of telecommunication services are also essential and indeed, they are also going to use connectivity responsibly. And as I conclude, I will say, it is quite important that we look at what causes come after we have inefficiencies. We need to look at the costs. What are these costs? What is it that we need to do? We need to operationalize all our pronouncement and make sure that we foster on coming up with good policies, good practice, good procedures, good processes, and indeed good principles. When we're talking about principles, we're also saying that our work culture has to be different. Our actioning also has to be also in line with what we're pronouncing. And indeed, our systems also need to be efficient. In conclusion, collaboration between different government entities is pivotal for achieving successful transitions into full-fledged digital economies while upholding cybersecurity laws effectively. Prosecutors indeed are going to be very much of assistance in making sure that we safeguard national interests through their enforcement efforts against cyber crimes facilitated by illegal devices or online activities contrary to existing statutes. As Zimbabwe progresses towards a greater technological advancement underpinned by robust legislative frameworks such as the Cyber and Data Protection Act, it becomes paramount that all stakeholders work together synergically so that we achieve a digitalized Zimbabwe and we build resilient institutional capabilities capable of withstanding evolving cyber threats. Indeed, I really want to thank you. Thank <laughs> you.